Hello everyone, welcome back to Europe of Barbarorum playing with Rome. So we are in the year 183 and we have recently managed to capture Alexandria which is an incredible town. I'm gonna take a look here. It has a population of 9350 and is growing with 6%. So I think that Alexandria will be a new Carthage with like 43,000 population and with a huge income. Although I have to say the Carthage, which has been raised to the ground by the Romans, doesn't have such a good, such a big income. It has only 2,500 because I think there is still a culture penalty here, just I thought. There is also a huge scholar, but we're just gonna build this household water distribution that's gonna bring a lot of health. Because in fact, we, we still have a lot of health anyway. Farm up heart rates 3% and base farming level is also gonna bring the growth. And this is that, uh, for example, trade will also be increased. So it's gonna be, everything is gonna be just good. It's great here. So like I said, last time we managed to capture Alexandria. And we have fought with the last remaining Egyptian force here, where they have a lot of troops indeed. They have the faction leader and faction now. If they're gonna be able to disembark, although they might do it, we will just um, attack them with our fleet and we'll try to completely destroy them, kill them. <coughs> if not, they're gonna attack them again, we're gonna definitely uh, defeat them because they don't have too many troops and we have a lot of legionaries, cavalry, and stuff like that, so I don't think it's gonna be difficult at all. But this is gonna happen the next turn. And secondly, we can assault this town and we can try to take this town as well in the next turns. And we're gonna have to defend against the Seleucids right here in Edessa, where I think they might attack another turn than the next turn for sure, but they could also take this turn. <clears throat> we'll see what's gonna happen. If not, then we can try to attack them and free or release the town. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go on with the next door, and let's see what's gonna happen next. We have a lot of movements on the map. A lot of generals moving, going to the battlefront. <coughs> Reinforcing the already existing battle forces. So we'll see what's gonna happen. The Slickers didn't make any move, this is good. Now, unfortunately, some savages are attacking our fleet, just I thought. Ah, uh, this is the remaining Carthaginian fleet that has been defeated. And of course, they have absolutely annihilated us. But we'll try to do a great job and deal with it. That's what we got here, taxes low and we're still recruiting a lot of men. <coughs> now it's gonna take some time until we're gonna 20 turns until we're gonna come to a close with this building, so we're gonna increase public value even further more. However, assuming the situation is good now, income is very low, of course. And Numerius Fl Claudius Flamen is now the the leader in this town. He's a pretty poor general. He's a young and poor general at the time being, but hopefully he's gonna just, you know, do a great job lately. So we are in the winter. Now let's see what happened to my fleet here, because these savages have attacked us. So let's just retreat right here. Gonna retrain them and perhaps next turn we're gonna get back to Antiochia. Let's see if we can retrain it. Yes, we can. And actually, I'm gonna put up a new one because I really want to increase our fleet capabilities. Although these fleets are just extremely expensive. <coughs> this rebel navy will be destroyed. Although we are controlling almost all of the Mediterranean. This is good. Let's see. End of season, my number minus 9000. The elite guard grows, which is good. And it's just upgraded. <laughs> Palantia, just right here, is also grown. And also upgraded. Just because we can. So, recruitment report all the troops have been recruited lately. Although, not much. 
Let's see what happened here. Oh, we can recruit this Germanic Auxiliary Cavalry now. Yeah, this is interesting. Although they are extremely expensive. I mean, 3,000 denarii. This is just pure and simply too much. King Petra or something has been built here. Now we're going to be able to recruit some more troops. So let's just recruit two units of Arab Slingers. Then let's go on with building this stuff. Okay, that was it. And faction announcement. Family member, member died in Palantia right here. Done governors. Auctor Auctoritas. Auctoritas. Tiberius Silas is Auctoritas in Emporion. 55 years old. He's governing alone, unfortunately. Doesn't have a follower. Although this is a good tactician, in Guadjam had Ruskos right here. Yeah, he is a good tactician, that's for sure. And Sextus Serranus is Waldenus Prophet. Right here. What does this mean? Minus one to one rest. That's good. Right, now let's get back here. Let's see what we've got here. So we're recruiting a bit more troops here, although... Is it gonna have to take some of the guys out? And we're gonna have a new troop next turn. A new unit, to say the least. Now let's see what our other armies are doing on our map. If we have other armies, and we do have... They're just moving on. Well, these guys are just gonna try to take care of these rebels there. And they're then gonna need some troops from here. For the time being, this is what they have. Oh, only one unit. We're gonna defeat them next turn. We're gonna attack them and defeat them next turn. And... We should also take care of these guys, but not now. Okay, now let's see if we basically can... Advance with these guys. No, not at all. We can't advance. We're just gonna wait this turn right here. <coughs> We're really gonna have to defeat this guy here. And then this guy's here. And this is gonna happen very fast because I see maybe we have also some scorpions here. I don't really think so, because I sent all of them to Seleucia. Now let's get <coughs> let's get back to Rome. We're already having the general standing there. We're gonna let him stay there. Perhaps in the meantime, we're gonna have Sir. more units to give him. Morning. Set sail. Disembark. Yes, Captain. Sir. It appears victor against Captain Harpalos Macedonia. Pretty good. Yeah, we cannot increase the tax rate even more. Now let's see what's going on in Northern Africa. Before very good tax rate here. Let's see what this guy is. GDP in general, actually. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now, I would like to give this guy some more troops from here, but tax rate is just not the best. So, we're just gonna have to spare the troops and let them stay there. Then here is the same situation, although I think that <coughs> <clears throat> we can march these armies. That's perfect. Let's send them. That's in the right here. Gonna have a new army. And then let's get back quickly to. Right here, Iberia. So, right here, I'm just gonna have this guy. Then we can send him right here. Pella. I'm gonna send this guy right here, south. Forward. No there is not move, enough. <coughs> now we're gonna have to wait. General! 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 Oh, okay, here we should see what's gonna Imperator. happen here. Attack! Just, Victory! 
Uh, we're just gonna let him run right now because I think that he's gonna stay on Dacian territory, so I don't really care much. Okay, wait a minute here. No. Yes, it's gonna work. Yes, it did. It did work. We just managed to bring the guys right here. This is good. Wait a minute. So this is a 35 years old general with two command stars. He's also treasurer, master of horse, command one um, command cavalry. So I mean, he's got a pretty decent army. This guy is gonna move on anyway. I'm gonna take two troops from here. Just another two. It's gonna be too much as they thought. Just bring him right there. Out of move, sir. Imperator. Imperator. I wasn't the best because I can wait. No more moves, sir. I was the best because I love me. Sir! The guys are moving. This is good. Putting these guys here. Let's just move them here. And let's give them some troops. There's from here. But here I'm just going to try to... Um, Or recruit more troops, although I think I could give him this cavalry anyway. And put up a new unit of cavalry and some more infantry. And there's another five units, and we have only four, but it doesn't matter. So we just, just arrived here with this 17 years old general. Now he's got a pretty decent army. This guy's gotta move forward anyway. And that's what we got here. We're recruiting even more and more troops in Antioch, this is good. And I was planning to attack these guys, but it seems that we're not gonna be able to do it. Oh my god, look at this guy here. Now the Syracids have managed to gather some incredible armies here. And although it doesn't seem they will attack us, so we're just gonna arrive here. No, they're not able to move very fast. And these guys... They didn't build enough. They could attack us, but I'm not sure if this is going to happen. General. We'll see. We'll try to save the situation anyway. <coughs> okay, these guys should just also move forward towards Egypt anyway. These guys as well. These guys also. They are full of troops. Send them right here in the middle. These guys too is what he got here. So two more troops and possibly they're building more up here. No, it doesn't seem so. Then um wait a minute. First of all, let's resolve this. Oh, they have come came out, but these guys are still in here. So wait a minute, I have an idea. Actually. Let's just send these guys here. Maybe we're gonna be able to win it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, they have sunk as well. They have sunk as well, and now they are Eleuteroid. That's right. <laughs> wow, what a madness. Faction destroyed Ptolemyoi, and now they have sunk again, and they are Eleuteroid right now. So this means it's going to be extremely easy to defeat them. Look at them. They have only very poor troops here. They have some... Oh, this is really great. I mean, I could even attack them. Now this means that this town is ours, so now let's head towards this town here directly because I really want to take them as quickly as possible. Let's also give them some new more troops here because don't really need these troops right here. Just another one and it's gonna be much better. And here we're gonna recruit very soon new more troops, doesn't really matter. Let's just put up an build up some more stuff in order to increase the population anyway. <coughs> now we're gonna have two battles to fight right now. One will be here at Diospolis Megale and another one will be here. Now here 
I just want to attack them right away. They have retreat just I thought. But we're gonna attack them anyway, and we're gonna completely defeat them anyway. So we just ride in here. Eight to one, so oh shit. Unfortunately we have lost most of our forces. Anyway, it is what it is. No, they can't. We cannot attack it just yet. But we're gonna attack it now. Let's let's try to risk with this spy here. Whatever's gonna come out, yeah, and we're gonna attack them next turn. This is gonna be easily taken. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The biggest problem is that we have lost an incredible number of troops, especially in this army here. Although this guy is not much better, especially this um, this legionaries. We've lost so many of them. <clears throat> Just don't understand how. Well. So we're gonna take the town next turn, but we're gonna take it for sure. And now here we're gonna definitely have to fight a battle. We cannot attack it there. And the question is, who should we attack? Because we don't have too many troops, but they also don't have too many troops. Now let's see. Time to attack anyway, so let's go for it. Now it's five to one, but I still gonna fight it because I think we're gonna lose it. We still have pretty big troops there, and we got like <coughs> a lot of troops, so it should be <coughs> shouldn't be problematic. But I really wanna fight it because I'm sure that I'm gonna lose it if we're gonna auto resolve it. Yeah, we gotta definitely lose it. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Zerkis will not have the possibility to uh, defend all of their pre all of their walls. So now let's see. Now let's put this one here and come to it. Okay, and with this one we could just attack right there, but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna just destroy it, possibly. This one perhaps right here, although I'm not sure it's gonna work, but let's just try it. So we just start the battle. Right, and with this guy, it's just gonna go straight there. So what's gonna happen. Organizing these guys a little bit. Now we have a full unit of... that's great. <coughs> now they're having most of their units right here somewhere, I think. Uh, walls or something, I'm not sure where. And this is guy is gonna be the ruler. We'll see what's gonna happen. Two units of... Babylonian heavy spearmen. These guys are also very cool. <coughs> the other guys are just gonna be trained. Comes our allies as well. 
They have a huge temple here, a uh, temple city is being called, and a uh, pharaoh's palace built by the Egyptians. This one looks very, very interesting. Take a look at this graphic. I'm not sure if this comes from uh, Rome Total War Vanilla or from the developers of Europa Barbarorum, but it looks really, really stunning. Okay, so let's see what our allies are doing. They are moving forward with their mercenary trach and peltists and mercenary Hellenic spearmen. A lot of mercenaries in this army is here because we have lost, in the meantime, a lot of troops. These guys are already there, which is perfect. I'm just gonna try to go in this direction and capture all the walls. <clears throat> and I also have this 91 guys. See what got here. Here there are some Greek hoplite phalanx. <coughs> that should really shouldn't be a problem to take one this. These guys should just go this direction. I guess it should be a problem to take this down, but we're just gonna have to fight. First of all, they have this two they have this general that is their faction leader that's gonna die right now. Yeah, they're pulling in with what in the uh, tower. This is good. No, let's see what's going on here right now. We're gonna also get into the tower, climb the ladders. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, quickly. <coughs> Our allies now are taking a little bit of casualties because they're just standing there. Should put their weight. We don't have to use these things to destroy the walls because otherwise we're gonna have to um, rebuild it. It's gonna cost us a few monies, so no need to do this once we have our towers in action, undamaged. <clears throat> this is what buildings they Academy, okay. This is Temple City. Here there's a blacksmith. Pretty large market right there. It's very nice. Okay, and somewhere we have capture buildings. I'm not sure where. This is where the computer will take us to. <coughs> so the boys are there. Let's send them forward in there. Let's send these guys here to capture these walls. Oh, I just send them right there. No, oh, let's send these boys right there. Hurry up, boys. Okay, so time to move right there. <coughs> Here comes the first mercenary hope light. You know, the watchtower is ours. Basically, we could bring up here our guys, which are right there. Okay, I'm not really sure where to bring them. Someone fired here. Oh, this are whatever the phalanx is. I'm not sure which phalanx is there, but it doesn't matter. Uh... 
Now we should arrive with our troops as quickly as possible right here. We should just wait now. <clears throat> One twenty two hope lights are also moving forward, capturing the walls. And let's see what these guys are doing. Send them forward. I'm not sure what this guy are they are they having a bug there and they're just stopped. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna send them further more. We're gonna send them onward. Our allies are, have already poured into the town and this is exactly what our um, the troops will also do right here. <coughs> Together with, with the general. Basically, we could just climb down the walls here, and this is what we're gonna do right now. Because we have our phalanxes with us. Basically the walls have been captured in total. I mean the whole walls have been captured. So we should just move forward. Not sure why why they are just standing there. what they're waiting for right there there you go come on guys hurry up move faster <coughs> some egyptian buildings okay, let's see what's going on here they have no troops there we should just move there and fast. Yeah, we should just basically pour into the town. Here. Here we should do the same thing. I'm not quite sure what they have there. Troops there, but... Let's just go down. <coughs> oh, they are must be tired. So they're just out there and they're gonna capture it. Right, and now let's head towards the town center. Question is, how can we make it? I think that way we can make it. move quickly to other town center because we're just about to take it just about to take the town I'm gonna use my phalanxes to fight their generals because they their general because they have a very strong general right there it comes a brave Gallic cavalry cavalry man which is wrong just doing a great job here guys are already in position I'm sure whether to yeah we're just gonna go in there they're fresh interesting Here comes our 
Babylonian spearmen. Here they have some units, pharmacies, but don't matter. Then move forward. They're not moving just yet. Let's hurry up with our guys. And here comes our... Spearman, the others would just secure the perimeter in the back. <coughs> we should just try to attack with these guys as quickly as possible. Just like that. And they are fresh. The others should also be fresh, yes they are. These guys are already tired. Yeah, they're just gathering here, this is good. And it basically doesn't matter if... Uh, this is the main entry here. But we could also pass through here. Doing there, it's just way there. So, Ethiopian swordsmen and Hellenic heavy spearmen that don't really matter at all. I'm not quite sure what these guys are doing, I'm just gonna try to move forward with them. I saw this with these guys. As well as with these guys. Let's bring out our general. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Let's just attack them right there with our general, because they're gonna be defeated anyway. <coughs> they're just exhausted. Let's wait here. <coughs> yeah, we should have. Which just takes a lot on it, they're gonna arrive. Okay, now let's them attack. <coughs> Our boys should do a great job here. in the center right now. <coughs> 16 left and we've got 24 bodyguards left, so I think it should be easy. Let me show we have the support of our allied infantry with this um, Bolivian with this Libyan Hastari. <coughs> and none of our uh, phalanxes have fallen. Let's go in the center. <coughs> then we're gonna just sacrify this cavalryman. I'm gonna sacrifice this guy here. Oh, 
no way. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <coughs> okay, let's wait there. Oh shit. There are big generals arriving. Oh, this, this guy, we're gonna have a problem now. Now we're gonna have a huge problem here. But we'll have to attack them anyway. General is doing, but we're still fighting. Yeah, three of them left. <coughs> Strange how this Prince is not. Oh, yes, because I understand. Send our other guys right there. Oh no. They have met with our spearmen. Well, our spearmen, unfortunately, are completely annihilated. At least for the time being. We'll see about that. Most of them are exhausted while, while their troops are not exhausted. But it doesn't matter, we're gonna defeat their faction leader anyway. Our allies are also right, by the way. <coughs> 49. When we, we'll, when we will arrive with this phalanxes, then everything will be okay. Let's hurry up with this guys at least. We have here. <coughs> 48, 36, they are doing a great job there, I see. But our allies are also arriving, and our general as well, so gonna defeat them anyway. And that's pretty much everything what we got here. Little guard mod. It's gonna be of course much better if you're gonna put them in guard mod. 47 left and well, it's not gonna be easy. These guys have also lost a lot of them, but they're still fighting. However, if you're gonna take them from behind, it's gonna be much better. Let's drive as quickly as possible with our general. And let's take their general because this is the most important thing to do now. <coughs> Here comes our allies. They should attack as quickly as possible, by the way. 47 left, and they are very tired. This is also much something. too late but we will still attack with these guys here <coughs> 45 left something better now let's see where is our general he's tired whatever oh ah, there he is oh this is another unit that they have oh you gotta be kidding I'm gonna have to take a break now First of all, like I said, let's bring down their general, and then we'll see. Now, these guys will be will die very soon. <coughs> like I said, most important to bring down their general, so let's attack them right there. Seems like most of their troops are just retreating, but their general is the, gonna die anyway. We're just not gonna wait for these guys. 
guys are also firing, which is good. Let's see, 12 left and 2 left here. They're fighting very brave, I have to say. They just try to attack him from behind, possible. 34, we really have to make sure that this general will fall, that's why I'm gonna send everything we got against him. Our allies are also putting more troops to fight against this general. <coughs> also having some... what's this? A palm tree, okay. We're having some Babylonian or Ethiopian spearmen fighting there. <coughs> Here comes our exhausted Triari. An exhausted Babylonian spearmen. 25. Our allies are doing a great job up there, a wonderful job. <coughs> Here comes our Triari, eight of them. Exhausted. But very experienced. The enemy is gonna lose a lot of troops. Just I thought. <coughs> they are in circle now. There is no way out of here. Now let's try to bring our general as well. This in the town center. What are these guys? Ah, oh, there they are. It just takes some time. These guys are still fighting here. Come on, attack them. I think they're trying to save. Yeah, that's why. That's why they're taking care of this. They're just trying to save their troops there. 54. These guys have already suffered tremendous damages. And finally, their king or emperor, Timox, Timoxenos, the Upatar, is dead. I'm gonna leave our guys to take a break. Gotta send the troops right here. <laughs> so this is everything they got left and the time is also not on our side. That's why I think so I think that if we, if we would have fought we would have lost this battle. These guys are still having arrows. Still firing. Two left. Curious to see what is gonna happen here. These guys are also exhausted. Just gonna try to, you know, encircle them. Be ready to give a charge with our general that could make the difference. Comes our general. <coughs> now you should guys fire. Waiting for my general in order to give a charge. <clears throat> this 
Lopez also right, but until then, well, we're gonna have to wait just a little bit more. I wanna give a charge to that channel. So Bella has started, and our guys are falling, they're also losing some men. Okay, now time to charge quickly. <coughs> Could be the end of it. Oh, that was a perfect charge here. <laughs> that was a perfect charge here. Someone is firing, you should be firing. Yeah, this is gonna be the end of it. Great. <laughs> no, we're still losing some mana, but the general just did an incredible thing here. We still have some mana left. Our allies have been charging with some Anatolian spearmen. <laughs> that was insane. So we have lost 400 men. It is like an entire army. But from our first army, we have lost only 100 men. From our second army, we have lost 100 men. From our third army, we have lost none. And from our fourth army, we have lost 100 men. So in total, 100, 200, 300, plus another one, 400. So and they have lost 120 men, including their uh, their faction leader. So it was a very nice battle. Now let's see. This study has been completely annihilated, perhaps. It's true. So we, we, we did lose a lot of troops, that's for sure. But it was very efficient, and we have taken the town because I was expected to take it. So now <laughs> the Silukis are having one less city, one less town. They still have a huge empire, that's for sure. That's perfect. That needs to be taken. But what a better that was. Victory! <coughs> Rome has I'm gonna have to annihilate every piece of silver kit that is in this town. And that's what we got here. The Tavern Necropolis. Royal Palace. As I as I thought, this is an incredible town. Take a look at this population. Almost 10,000 and is increasing with 7%. Wondrous Temple of Zeus Amma. Very large market. Expansion region. Eastern Greek. Totally my keeper here. Used by Archisilicia and Coromine. No use anymore. Used by Bactria, Archisleukia, and Ptolemy. There are estates, mines as well, and income is only minus 46. Large sanctuary of Asclepius. Seleucid satrapy. Garrison. We don't have nothing to repair here, which is perfect. Now let's just retrain some of our troops. And I thought that this cavalryman has been killed. Repos, but it seems that he has been just injured and now he's ready to fight again. Let's see how much they have 24 in defense. And these Bolivians are having 32 in defense. Even this Camille and Hastati, they are still on a, on a map at 183 before Jesus. Anyway, good, so it was a nice battle. Uh, now we have the possibility to send our troops farther more. Let's try to march some of the armies. Right. The news we're just gonna send our um, armies furthermore, all this army group, including the spy. Moving on my way. 
this spy here. 54 years old seems to be a pretty good spy. Your Honor. Right. Uh, they, there are still some towns here. I think this one might also belong to Slow Kids as far as I can see on the map. And there's still another town around here that uh, haven't been, hasn't been discovered yet. Um, our purpose will be to take these two towns next turn. Together with this army here and with this group of armies, which is very small Imperial. of armies, but Imperial. I think it's very efficient to be small. Sir. For example, this army seems to be really big. Powerful. Winter Companion Distributed. Bell destroyed. Local hero. Triumphant. It is time to return to Roma with this army. Nah, no, he's not gonna make it. I would, uh, I could try to uh, get him back to Roma, but not anymore. And more and more armies are pulling into Egypt. I think General. at one point I should stop the exodus, exodus into Egypt. Because there are not too many, too many towns to take here. There are just, I think, one or two towns left. Except these two, which are anyway targeted General. by our armies. And then, well, we're gonna have, we, we're gonna be done with Egypt, then we're gonna continue our offensive here. And that means, I'll try to take this town, and then I'll try to pull our armies into Babylonia to take this um, silicate treasure right away. And then, furthermore. Okay, uh, first of all, let's focus on this here. So, we cannot attack this barbarian ship, but it's gonna be easy. It's just, it's nothing. It's just a piece of cake to take this town next turn. Um, so, time to move on. Um, I'm just gonna, wait a minute, first of all, let's see if we have any problem with public order. What? In Edessa is 5%, but it's under siege, so it doesn't matter. In Adrometo, which is, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, we're gonna have to reduce the tax rate here, and let's build another unit. This should not be. So here, we should just put some more units. Yeah, no, it's gonna be better, of course. In Ipsos as well. Just two more units, and this is still not going good enough. Here is 65. Here, I'm also going to have to reduce. Yeah, let's just put some more troops <coughs> here in Halicarnassus. We just definitely going to have to build something else because not enough is going on here. Unfortunately, just gonna have to recruit so many troops here. I mean, everywhere. It's gonna, of course, uh, reduce the population. So his left key. So where is left key? Anyway, ah, right here. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna recruit more troops. Alright, uh, let's see if we can build something in Italy. Yes, we can. For example, in Masana. I'm just gonna upgrade it to a town and I'm gonna up, uh, build up these farms here. We have a 37 years old General Manius Masala, which is a very good general. He has a lot of management. Public order is perfect. And. And he has this this trait, I think. What is this? Provincia Sicilia. Which is a bonus. Okay, so I'm gonna have to end the recording here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, bye-bye.